Hi guys. In fact, I don't know if you can't hear it or if you can, but it's raining cats and dogs here. So I just wanted to get one more review out of the way. So today basically we'll be testing the security features of Apple Safari, which uh, is a product from Apple. It can be used on all systems. It's the default browser for a Mac. So basically you're doing a security test. For me, I mean, it feels kind of like strange because Macs don't get uh, too many viruses. So I wonder what kind of security they have. I doubt if they have a really good uh, web blocking or anything like that. But we'll find out it's uh, 36 to 37 megs. Looks really nice, uh, but we're not here for the looks. We're here for the security. So if we go into preferences and security tab, we can see that it's got a web blocking. It warns you when you visit a fraudulent website. Now I think this only warns you about phishing website. I'm not sure if it blocks malware. Then we've got web content, uh, Java plugins, uh, and everything's enabled. And it does uh, block pop-up windows. So I mean that's all that you get. I don't know if it has any kind of a download scanning feature or anything and I doubt it. I really doubt it because uh, this is Apple software and this is basically meant for Mac users. Of course uh, you can use it on a Windows PC but you know it's Apple so whoops uh, hit the wrong button Okay, so let's just browse to clean a max where from where we get our regular malware samples and we'll just try out ten. See how many it blocks. taking a while to load. In fact I can't get CleanMX open right now for some odd reason so we'll have to try our luck with uh, Malware Blacklist. Uh, I hope we'll have some executable files here. So let's uh, try one of these. It says it blocks uh, fraudulent websites, so it should block just about everything. So yeah, this one couldn't load up just because uh, we didn't have Java. In fact, I did have Java, but I don't have the plugin for the Safari browser. But it wasn't blocked by the web blocking. Okay, this one loaded up. Looking for executables. Okay, do you want to run or save it? Checking the downloaded files. Okay, that's fine. So, the first one is a miss. Pretty clearly. So is the second one. And so is the third one. And it appears that the next one was missed as well. Yeah. 
and so was the next one really I don't see much of a point of carrying on because it's not doing anything apparently and this is just what I'd guessed because uh, this browser is from Apple so I don't think uh, they need to employ a lot of protection because basically it's meant for their iPods, iPads, all that kind of stuff you get this browser with that and it's also available for Windows but I think the basic architecture is same in both of them so I don't think it has any protection against uh, I mean Windows viruses okay I guess that will be the last because it's getting boring So, most probably this will be missed as well. I think you get the idea what is happening. I don't know why this is being checked. I Maybe they do have some protection. I'm not very sure. It's uh, taking quite a long time. So, I guess I'll wait for this. And finally, there you go. So no problems there. So all the malware was let through. I don't know how many I tried. I'm not. I've lost track, but I'm sure whatever that was, it's a total failure. So I mean, you want to use Safari? Yeah, it's got great looks. I uh, want to get the Apple Touch, but remember, it's got nothing for security. So in case you haven't got really strong antivirus program and you're hoping your browser to block things, please don't use this. Because this is just going to let everything through. Yeah, it's going to look nice. Uh, you'll get the Apple kind of an interface on your Windows PC. But that comes with some risks like threats. So basically that's about it. I'll be t doing one more of these reviews or a couple more about maybe some of the other browsers like Mozilla. Firefox that is. So I hope you enjoyed this. Wasn't much in that I know, but I think that gives you the idea about how Safari works. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day.